Hi, everybody, and welcome to Quarantine Cafe. I am here right now with Brother Toaster. How are you, brother? And uh, <laughs> how's that going during quarantine? Uh, it's it's going well, all things considered. It's going well. Um, thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for being on. So, yeah. so you're in Boston, right? I am. Well, I live uh, I live in Waltham, like just uh, you know a few minutes west of of the city. Cool. You're like you're like right next to where I live. I guess I live in Watertown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Watertown's yeah. Not- I probably shouldn't cuss, but yeah, Watertown's a nice one, too. I think you could say the word hell, I think. I don't know. Okay, okay. We'll I think to... it depends on the context. Maybe some... I was on the radio once, and uh, I kept saying I kept saying that, and I think it, someone explained to me there's a context thing. Like, if you're talking about, I feel like, a place, then it's then it's cool. But if you, but if you use it as, like, a... If you use it like I just did, then it's just cussing. Well, maybe you can, uh, maybe you can say like H E double hockey stick. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to, I'll try to censor myself a little better. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to tell us a little bit about what you're about to play? I mean, oh, I know yeah. you're not actually about to play it and, and we'll talk a little bit about this afterwards, <laughs> but like the songs or whatever, and then we'll, we'll air it and then, uh, and then we'll talk some more. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, that made me nervous for a second. I'm like, Oh, uh, I'm not prepared. Uh, but yeah. So a couple, couple months ago, uh, Recorded these tunes in um, at Cambridge Community TV, nice little studio there with my buddy Josh and uh, Nick uh, on audio. And uh, there, it was sort of like just um, uh, the music is is weird because I recorded all by myself at home, piece by piece. There's very little input from others. So then the live band tends to be something that's very different because there's a lot of like input from other people. Uh, and then the acoustic stuff is even like weirder than that because it's like a middle ground in between like the live versions that have been worked on by multiple people and then the original compositions that are just me. So it's like kind of a weird little middle ground, but it's uh, I sort of worked on this set like last fall uh, for a few acoustic shows that I did. Uh, so it's a good mix of like uh, stuff from my, I think, first record and then all the way up to like the uh second third fourth uh and then some there's even some covers i think so uh it's a it's it's a good time nice and i well let's give that a listen and then we'll talk a little bit more about it all right cool all right cool i'm brother toaster and i'm gonna play some music for you here in this really nice studio thanks for having me Say 
something unkind You can smear me around If you gotta, you can tell everyone That I'm a stupid, filthy, worthless, empathetic But it still doesn't bother me none Because I know you too well And I know you've got no truth to tell Cool. <coughs> I'm gonna play another play another song off of that record. It's good water. <coughs> good good Cambridge city water. I think the water in Cambridge comes from out in Waltham actually. I think that's true. There's a reservoir out there, right? Yeah, everyone's like, hell yeah. Oh, I don't cuss, right? No, I can cuss. Hell yeah. That's not really a cuss, but partial cuss. There's rules about that. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I got one of these clip-on tuners like a nerd. But what else can I do, you know? All right, here we go. <clears throat> this song's called Too Old to Get Stoned. Ooh. Said I'm too old to get stoned Then they ripped me off And then they scootered on home I used to be cool I don't know where I went wrong I used to be hip I guess that never lasts long Sing me a song Tell me I'm wrong Say I once met a 
we're back from Quarantine Cafe. Uh, we, we're here with Brother Toaster. We've just listened to some of your music. So, man, like, it's kind of cool because usually we have somebody from Boston on every week. And, like, usually I, I know them because usually I book the acts. But Josh uh, booked you. And so we don't know each other. Yeah. Which is cool because this was, like, the first time that I've heard your music. And something that I really liked about it is, like, you have a cool, um, you have a cool way of using rhyme schemes. Oh, thank in your you. lyrics. Yeah. Like, like a lot of them are like kind of clever and I, I don't know, I enjoy them a lot. So you, can you talk a little bit about that? Like, how do you come up with like the words to your songs? Oh, that's funny. Uh, there's, I have no, um, I have like no formula for it. Most of the time, to be honest, uh, for me, songs start like, I, they start musically and sometimes like there's a whole song is like made before words even come along. So I always feel kind of like self-conscious about my words because I feel like sometimes they're a little uh, like forced or something. So I'm, ha- I'm honestly very happy to hear you say that. But, uh, but there are some songs where I will write lyrics first, but it's very, it's very rare. Uh, so a lot of times the rhyme schemes and stuff are kind of like, um, kind of like riffs off of like what maybe the guitar or the keyboard is doing and stuff like that. So a lot of times that's just how like my brain does music, uh, like kind of uh, like very simple melodies that come out of the guitar work and stuff. And then I'll kind of throw words in in there. But the words are usually all like, uh, uh, well, I guess there's there's like a lot of different themes and stuff, but a lot of it's like probably pretty, pretty like personally relatable like you know everyday shit oh i did it again oh you did it again oh josh can edit that sh star t you know (laughs) darn it (laughs) i think we'll be fine it's great it'll give josh an excuse to like put a little like quarantine cafe mug on top of your mouth like that's what he did the last time somebody was like cursing in the interview and i loved it (laughs) the clap yes happy for myself yeah i gotta react to that But yeah, I, I know what you're saying though. Like, it's funny when I used to r- write songs. Like, I guess like maybe a year ago, I always wrote like melody first because that's kind of my background originally. Cool. But I feel like something that's cool about that is it sort of like forces you to be clever. Yeah, totally. Because you, know, you have to fit everything like over the melody. You can't uh, play as much with like um, I don't know. It's just like a really different process from when you write lyrics first. I guess. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And it's kind of like it forces me to. Uh, come up with like a lot of times I have to kind of I have to hatch an idea for like what a song is going to be about uh and so some sometimes that takes like an energy uh in a way to like all right what am I going to actually like do with this song because all the times I've actually whenever I do sit sit down and like write lyrics or something like that it ends up being like very abstract and like huh. not really sure how to put it in a song that would like Uh, would really like be fun to hear or like intellectually stimulating or or whatever, you know? Uh, But I guess that's not always the point. So some, it's good. They're good both ways. You know, I'm sure there are songs. If I look, there are probably songs where I could point to that are like, like, Oh, I wrote that one first lyrically and you could tell, but I can't, off the top of my head, I can't even think of any. (laughs) Cool. Here's another one from that same record. girlfriend only blinks with one eye when she's drinking she only talks to other guys I've been thinking is this house we built a home or can it be that I'm better off out on my own I think I'll stay yeah cost me one dollar a day I think I'll stay yeah she cost me one dollar a day my girlfriend says she'll never go far when she comes home and she steals the keys to my car 
car I've been trying But I just can't leave her alone I'm her dog and I'm begging her to throw me a bone I think I'll stay, yeah She cost me one dollar a day I think I'll stay, yeah She cost me If you go, you should know I don't want this But I just can't seem to find a way to avoid this I feel so dry and high as the ceiling But I just can't seem to produce any feeling That part of my brain that feels all the pain And tells me to do the right thing that part of my brain that begs you to stay, begs you to come home again. That part of my brain is gone. Oh yeah, that part of my brain is gone. Oh yeah, that part of my brain is gone. Oh yeah, that part of my brain is gone. should know I don't want this but I just can't seem to find a way to avoid this I feel so dry and high as the ceiling but I just can't seem to produce any feeling that part of my brain that feels all the pain and tells me to do the right thing that part of my brain is gone oh yeah that part of my brain is gone oh yeah that part of my brain is gone oh yeah that part of my brain is gone oh yeah that part of my brain is gone <laughs> that one's weird uh, to play by myself. All of these songs are kind of weird to play by myself, but I'm having a good time. So thanks for having me again. So here on a totally different note, like uh, where did you get that burger hat? Cause that's awesome. Oh, uh, so the hat I actually got uh, like, it had a different patch on it originally. Um, I got it at like a, a thrift store or something, but the, the burger patch just came later and I, and I put it on there. I thought, what a great, uh, you know, what a great team to be on the, the, <laughs> the oh, burger team, <laughs> the burger team. It was funny. I actually went to a basketball game with my mom and, uh, one of the teams, their color was like burgundy. And somebody said to me in the in the line at the con at the concession thing, they they said something about the team, and I was like, "Oh no no no, not, I'm sorry, it's, I'm just it's just hamburgers, man. It's not I'm not I'm not in it for the sports, you know. <laughs> You're in it for the burgers. It's in it for the burgers. All right, this uh, is a song about a about a city bus, the five hundred five five hundred five blues bus that does not come to Cambridge. Sorry, here we go. I don't think you ride the five 
505 bus to work anymore. I changed up my schedule so that I could ride the bus with you more. I know that I'm see through, but when I first saw you, you opened the door to some place in my heart or my mind that I had never ventured before. see you when I go riding from door to door. I don't think you ride the 505 bus to work anymore. To see my doctor and check up on my health He didn't have anything good to say He said my days of eating dairy have got to go away No cheese or ice cream It feels like I'm falling I can't wake up from this Because those non-dairy substitutes make me want to cry When I get depressed, I just go to the bar And I drink my life away Because life is just too hard with no cheese Or ice cream It feels like I'm falling And I can't wake up from this dream dramatic song about lactose intolerance but like so we talked a little bit about how you actually recorded this set like before all this quarantine happened like usually what we do is we get somebody to like do it at their house um 
And I saw like one video from that project that you were doing with Josh and it looked really cool. Like, cause you're in front of a green screen and he put all this oh, psychedelic stuff in the background. Totally. Yeah. It looked really cool. Josh did that. He's a, uh, he's kind of like a whiz with the like video synthesis stuff. So um, we shot the whole thing in front of a green screen and then he kind of just went, ham on that and there's one funny there's actually one really funny thing in that clip uh if you if anyone sees i don't know i don't i don't hope josh doesn't get mad if you said this there's one quick little clip where you can see like a little warning label where it's like warning Im- image has not been rendered or something like one, <laughs> of the, one of the graphics didn't work and i thought about messaging him like hey by the way i saw that thing but i actually think it's way funnier that it's in there because it's yeah. like uh because it's just a little easter egg there but i wonder if he uh, did that on purpose he might have he honestly knowing josh he may have so i didn't even i didn't want to say anything because i either a, a it's really funny and b maybe i was just misunderstanding the, the humor in it so uh yeah it's, it's cool it looks really cool and i ended up like using some like screenshots from that for a different thing because it's just really cool there's effects there's like a couple shots where there's me in a few places from a few different angles yeah and it's cool even i was in the room and it's still kind of like weird looking at it like how did he do that <laughs> so where can people check out your music online uh pretty, pretty much everywhere uh um like spotify it's pretty much, I think it's all on there and Apple Music and all those. Um, but my, you go to my website, brothertoaster.com. That's got like, I haven't updated that in like probably a year, but there's uh, all this, all this stuff is on, on there too. You can, and you can download it. I don't think people do that anymore, but if you, if you wanted a, a copy, you can download it there. And then I do all my, um, I do all my like stupid social media posting on Instagram for the most part. So if so you can follow at brother underscore toaster and uh, you'll get just like all sorts of nonsense, mostly nonsense, but uh, there will be new album announcements there soon. So hopefully, you know, you can follow along there and, and, and I'll keep you up to date. This is a song, this is a song by Lucifer. Springtime comes and the leaves are back on the trees again. Snipers are harder to see, my friends. Weeding out your weekends. Summer comes and the gravity undoes you. You're happy because of the lovely way the sunshine bends. your weekends candy left over from Halloween a unified theory of everything love left over from lovers leaving and books we all know are not worth reading they're not for the season comes you sit in your chair and you stare at the TV square hiding from your close friends weeding out your weekends winter comes and the days all start late there's motion on the boughs where the dark shapes prowl Candy left over from Halloween A unified theory of everything Love left over from lovers leaving And books we all know are not worth reading They're not for the season
Cool. I'm Brother Toaster. Thanks for having me here in your nice studio. Well, thanks, man. And uh, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the audience at Quarantine Cafe? Oh, just like, you know, be, be safe out there. Wear, wear a mask and stuff. And, you know, just like, you know, we'll <laughs> hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Brother Toaster, for being on the show. Anytime. Uh, My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and I'm your host, Callum McKenzie, and we will see you guys tomorrow at noon. Nice. Have a great day. See you there. Hasta luego. Hey, thanks. Yep, I'm going to...